This is Jeff Crosby with the Central District Fishing Report. Bluegill of Red Ear are spawning at area lakes such as Beaver, Elmer, Corinth, or McNeely Lakes. Uh, you'll want to concentrate your effort in the openings and the vegetation along the banks. Bluegill and red ear can be caught on red worms, millworms, or crickets. Black bass are being caught using topwater baits such as a buzz bait, popper, or floating jerk baits. Blue cats are being caught using cut shad in 6 to 12 feet of water at Taylorsville Lake. Uh, you'll want to concentrate your efforts uh, on main river channel edges. Kentucky Free Fishing Weekend is June 2nd and 3rd. Free Fishing Weekend offers youngsters and their families an opportunity to try fishing at no cost. All anglers may fish without a license for those two days. However, all anglers must still observe size limits and krill limits. So grab a pole and enjoy some great summertime fishing. Hi, this is Kevin Fry with your Eastern Area Fishing Report. Catfishing continues to be good in lakes, streams, and tailwaters. Jugs and noodle floats having good reports for channel and blue catfish. Dewey Main Lake producing good numbers of channels in blues, and Buckhorn and Yeastville Lakes good numbers of channel catfish. Panfish anglers doing well on bluegill at most lakes and ponds. Numerous reports of males guarding nests and hitting live bait, and small hair jigs cast into spawning beds. Crappie anglers doing well at around six foot on brush at Dewey, Fish Trap, and Buckhorn Lakes. For better numbers of red ear sunfish, give Paintsville and Pambol Lakes a try. Most recent trout stockings were on May 22 at Cranks Creek Lake, Martins Fork Lake Tailwater, Fish Pond Lake, Russell Fork, and Fish Trap Lake Tailwater. This is Adam Martin with your Western District Fishing Report. For bluegill, the best catches are coming on worms and crickets rigged under bobbers. For red ear specifically, you will want to adjust your presentation to bring your bait closer to the bottom using a split shot rig or a three-way swivel with a short leader. Bass fishing has improved greatly now that water temps have drawn some fish back out to the main lake ledges. Your electronics are your best friends this time of year, but it's sometimes hard to tell the difference between bass and Asian carp. What you want to look for are smaller groups of fish which are concentrated near the bottom. This is more art than science, but with practice it is possible to tell the difference. The crappie are still biting, but have been a little less predictable. Trolling small crankbaits is becoming more popular and is an undeniably successful tactic this time of year. Good luck and good fishing.